Yo, sup? How's it going? Train is here. Welcome back to Diablo 4 Truth Build. Let's farm some Grim Favors and let's get some more experience. The fastest way to farm experience is just doing quests. But I would always recommend doing the sellers if you encounter one. Because sometimes you have the chance of getting an uh, event like this one. Most of the time there are a lot of enemies and it is an easy experience. So definitely do these. You have also a little chance of spawning pygmies and the butcher for example. So I can really recommend doing the sellers. Sometimes it can be a bit hard. But you will get also a lot of experience. Killed the last one. Nice. Things. Probably will return to the good place to see how my spirit boons are going. So if we need a lot more of that we are almost at the end. Let's go to the cellar here. I'm not sure if this is... Oh, this is only for the Grim Favors. Okay. I'm not sure if I should keep my one-hander and off-hand or that I should go back to a two-hander because if I equip this one, this aspect in a two-hander it gets a lot stronger so it can get to 150% extra damage but I also lose an extra place for my aspect because I only have one weapon then so I'm not sure Nice, it was a very easy seller. Sometimes this happens, but it's also a good experience. Let's farm the last of the mods and deliver them. Where is the deliver point? It is here. So maybe. Slay spiders. Uh, that's what we need to do here. Let's try to complete this then. Spiders here. Spider house. We'll probably drop a lot of spiders. Nice. How far are we with the uh, modes? We are completed, so let's deliver it. Let's see how this 
Skulls. Pretty strong ones. Nice, but we managed. I think we go to this place and see if we can complete this quest real quick. Hopefully we get also uh, more spirit boons. And we have a cellar here, so let's do that. Let's see what we find inside the cellar. Right, we have an event here. Last end. I can't leave my friends here. Not like this. We we can't do it alone. Oh, these wolves. I'm not sure if they are petrified or something, or, or that this is a bug. But These druidic offerings is for the druid specific quest. This is for the spirit boons. It is really self explanatory. So once you unlock this, you must just kill enemies and you will find these spirit boons. And with this, you can unlock your class specific thing. We will do this after the quest we are going to do. First we need to kill the center. Take this, my friend. It's not much, but I hope it We helps. keep everyone alive. Nice. Here. Something for your troubles. Thank you. You deserve this. Never seen anyone fight like you. Thank you. Murmuring obols, some yellows, nice. And we got a level, it seems. First kill these ones real quick. What do we need? I think we go for this one. One point again. So what do we need to do here? I believe we need to fight him. Payment of gemstones. Let's deliver it. So Here you go. These side quests will give you a lot of experience, as you can see here. We can claim all of those. I didn't do it before. But it's a really good way to get experience. Let's go to Tur Dulra and see how our spirit quest is going so far. This place is a little bit of going up and going down. So what spirit boons we really need? We need the stack. So let's go there first. I usually just offer all of the things I have, but it doesn't really matter what you would like to do. So now we can pick a new one. I'm not sure about this one. I think we go for the reduced damage. 
Or should we go for the more spirit? I think we go for the more spirit here. Nice. So we could complete some more of the spirit boons. As you can see, I still need some. But you will find these if you just kill enemies. So I would recommend just killing some enemies and you will find them eventually. I really like the druid. I can recommend it. But for now, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. And I see you in the next one.